We made it to Pontotoc Park, Howard Stafford Park in Pontotoc. This is our first time camping here. The campsites are very close together, but they are nice. It's really pretty out here. It's a beautiful day. You can see how pretty it is. It's really pretty. Um, and they do have a splash pad here, but the splash pad's not currently on, so I hope maybe it'll be on tomorrow because it's gonna be warm enough for it. But right now it is not currently on. They also, we're also really close. We're in spot number eight and we're really close to the playground, which the kids love. So it's gonna be a fun weekend. Okay, so we camped at Howard Stafford Park. Um, it went great. I will say, first of all, that it is very much for kids. So if you don't have any kids or if um, you um, are just looking to get away and be in peace and relax and just have peace and quiet, this is probably not the campground for you. It is a very small campground. I think they only had like 12 spots total, maybe not even that many. Um, and it's very close to the playground. It's, it's basically right up in the middle of a park. So there's not, like you're not on the water. You're not really spread out where there's a lot of space between the campsites. You're literally right by the park bathroom on most of the spots. Or you're on the other side where you're by the manager's house. It's just one little loop in the middle of the park. So I will say, in my opinion, site number nine is the best spot. We stayed in site number eight and it was okay. It was really close to the playground. That's when we stayed there so our kids could play at the playground while we were at the campsite. Um, we had to keep a really close eye on our kids the whole time though because it was so busy. There were so many people at the park that day. There was like some kind of party going on at one of the pavilions near us. And then there was like six birthday parties that day, back to back to back at the park. And so it was wild. There was people everywhere. And so it was not as much of a relaxing camping trip, but it was still fun. The kids had a great time. I also really like this park because there's a splash pad. The splash pad was not open when we went because they said they had to order a part and they were waiting for the part to come in before the splash pad would be back running. But they did tell me that the splash pad should be back open in June or July. So we're thinking about going back for two nights in June or July so that the kids can play at the splash pad. But we don't live far from this park either, so we technically could just go for a day. This is not somewhere I would wanna go stay longer than two nights. We, we talked about that, we were like, there's no way we'd wanna stay longer than two nights because it's right in the middle of the playground. Um, there is a lake there if you wanna go fishing. Uh, just make sure you have your fishing license. There's a park, you can do lots of walking, splash pad. So there's a lot to do. And they also have a volleyball court, sand court. So it's a lot of sand. So don't take your kids down there unless you want them to get sand. Mm -hmm. 